Hi Facebook, it's Lexi, I'm back. This is take two. <laughs> uh, beginning and growing your legacy. And my special guest today is Sippo. Her name is Sippo, Sippo Sith Sitoli. Uh, she immigrated to Canada from Zimbabwe. She's a retired elementary school teacher and she loves being an entrepreneur. So uh, Sippo is what I call her. She will be on. Uh, okay, good. I've got the notification. So here we go. Let's try to bring her on. Approve. Yeah, we had to try the second time around here because it didn't work the first time. And add. On any second. It's nice when technology works good. There. Yay, we can do this. <laughs> Hi, Hi, Lexi. <laughs> can you hear me okay? I can hear you really well. Okay, good. <laughs> okay, does it look like I'm looking right at you? <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, it's, it's good. Oh, I know what happened. I turned my phone this way. I should have turned it the other way, I think. That's why. Oh, okay. That's, that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's just different from when we last did our go live. So just trying to figure these things out. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, how are you today? <laughs> I am really happy. How are you? I'm really happy too. Okay. I'm really uh, happy to. What, what makes you so happy today? I am excited. I am alive. I am here. I was just waiting and thinking, oh, what's going on? What's happening? So I'm happy that I am here at least. <laughs> awesome. So um, today's topic. Sippo is, oh, introduce yourself, would you, because I stumble on your name still. I did try to say your full name, uh, but if you say it, that I think that would be really good for our viewers. Okay. My name is Sipo Sintole, and I use Sipo Sith online, and I am a um, retired teacher. I am an a retired elementary school teacher, and I am originally from Zimbabwe. I immigrated to Canada about 10 years ago. Um, do you like being in Canada much more? You must, hey? <laughs> I like being in Canada, but there's just one thing that I do not like, the cold weather. It's just too long. <laughs> it is, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. It makes our summers and springs so much more wonderful. That's how I look at it. Yes. Once they come, they go so fast. You don't even see the, 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 the spring or the summer. You <laughs> see it's winter again. <laughs> I know. It's like you ask yourself, wasn't it just yesterday we had snow? Right. <laughs> okay, so um, let's dive into our topic today, Sippo. Okay. Beginning and growing your legacy. So um, my first thought when I was really thinking over this topic was, how can you even start to build your legacy unless you first acknowledge that you need to do it? Uh, so for years, I didn't even consider building a legacy. It just didn't occur to me. Plus, I didn't have kids. And right. when it finally occurred to me, it's just like, well, I don't have to have kids to ha do a legacy or leave a legacy. I can leave it to like-minded people. And right. um, Yeah, and I just suddenly, just a few years ago, realized it's important for me to leave a legacy. We all should be leaving a legacy. What do, you, what do you think? What are your thoughts on that? My thoughts, I had the same kind of mind when it all started. But then I realized that a legacy is not like possessions and wealth and all that. 
it is really the the memory of of you the, the what is in the people's minds about a person what they think about what do they say about you so it's mostly the things that you do it's not what oh the money that you're going to leave to kids or to um nieces and nephews and all that but it 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 involves everyone around you everyone that you you affect as a person so that's how i'm looking at it now tell you a story about um this video that i saw and it's about this man called um nicholas he you um uh, holocaust and he during that time you know how the story goes that they were killing people and all that and he was a british man so he he decided that he was going to help kids of these people and take them to safer places so he would organize and take these kids out and i saw this video and now he was old and they invited him to this um uh, presentation and he didn't even know what it was all about he gets there and they talk about him and they say, they say all those people who were um helped by this man can you stand up the whole house stands up there are more than 600 people that were there that he had helped to get out of germany to other safe countries and he looks around and he's surprised at what what happened he couldn't even remember how many people he helped but that was a legacy that he decided he was going to do and he did that so i want to just say from i learned and there are four things that i want us to look at first of all mm -hmm. it's to figure out the most important things in your life what is important that you want to do as a person and you look around and see what you can do and for me i looked around and i said as a woman i want to help other women i come from um originally from zimbabwe and i said i want to help other women to be better and as you know if you help a woman you have helped the whole nation you have helped the the whole country you have helped um, even the world because the women are able to look after the children who will be the next generation they are able to take care even of the men they are, and they have uh, good ideas about the home the the society um even the country so in my mind i said i'm going to do that help the women and then i said i'm going to focus on essential things what are the right things that i need to do if i have i have it in my mind what i want to do now i want to focus on doing the right things what are those right things that i need to focus right now so for me to start creating a legacy i have to know what i want so that's figure out and the next one is to focus and it doesn't happen in one day you have to take some steps some steps so decide on what the first steps are what am i going to do now what is it that i'm going to do so that i can move towards creating my legacy of helping other people other women and of course i will start with my family and move on and the other thing is to find people that are going to help you in creating your legacy 
that you're going to work with in creating your legacy. Looking at the story that I said, this man was helping these kids to get out of the country into some other places. So he had a chain of things that he, he, he kind of worked so that this will happen. So he had people he worked with, people who take the kids to look after the kids once they're out of the country. So he didn't work by himself, he worked with other people. So that's an important thing that we have to do. Right, so those are my four points. Looking at me, I have decided what I want to do. What are my steps, the first steps that I, I want to do? For me, I thought, okay, for anything to happen, I will need some money. I will need some finances. So what I needed to do was to start creating that wealth that will help me to move my legacy. <laughs> so to create my wealth, I started by joining people. I have people that I work with to help me create this wealth, to help me so that I move towards my legacy. And what I started doing, working with these people, was to pay myself first. That is an important thing that helps me to create my world, paying myself first. <clears throat> so I am on my journey to create my legacy. Oh, I love it. That's oh, I love awesome. It. That's so I loved your story about Nicholas, and I did... Are you getting feedback from my voice? No, I can, can you hear, hear you well. Okay. Are you getting feedback from my voice, Sipo? Can you hear me twice? No, just once. Just once, okay. Um, mm -hmm. I saw that a video about Nicholas. And when you were saying it, I got goosebumps. When I watched it, I was crying. What yes, a legacy. I cried was. too. It's like... Man, you just have no idea what you did. You changed lives forever. Yes. And it's like Nikki had said in our, in our video uh, a week or two ago, when you throw a stone into the water, it ripples. It ripples out. Uh -huh. Hi, Sabira. Hi, James. Thanks for watching. And the boss lady is on there. Um, it ripples out. You throw the rock into the water and it makes ripples and it goes out. So this Nicholas created a lot of ripples. Right. Forever, for generations. Those 600 people sitting there were in that group was the kids, but probably their kids and then their kids. Uh -huh. You know? So it really had a rippling effect of what he did what his actions were and he's a great example to lead from just a great example right it's changed he changed the course of history he changed so many lives generational lives um for me i do agree with you in order for us to leave our legacy we need resources to do this we do need money first to do this and I have um, joined with a group that does the same as you, where I pay myself first, and then I have the resources to help other people and create that rippling effect and create that legacy where it goes generational, not just one generation, but over and over and over and over. It just, it's never ending. And that is my, one of my goals as well. My passion is for children and animals mm -hmm. to change things for, for them. I know you said you are interested in changing women's lives because they take care of the kids. So I am resonating a lot more with kids and animals for whatever reason, my, my upbringing, the way I think, I don't know. And so, you know, in order for us to fulfill our legacies and fulfill our, our dreams and goals, the only way we can do that is to have resources at our fingertips, right? Would you agree? 
I agree with you. We need the resources because without the resources, we cannot move forward. For you to start anything, you have to have those, those resources. Then you move forward. And one of the um, good resources is to have the money, which will be your wealth. And also to have people around you. I like the idea of having people. You cannot do it by yourself. You have to have people that uh, work okay. with you. Mm -hmm. I agree. I agree. You can get much more accomplished in a team than you can by yourself. There's no question. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I think we've chatted long enough here. I think we'll wrap it up. Um, Suko, do you, um, can you be reached um, by if people want to learn how to invest in, them, in themselves and how can they reach out to you? Okay, um, I will we'll have to leave a, a link if you would help me do that. That is going to um, just direct them on what to do. If they will just click on that link below or just message me and I will just get in touch with you and then we can uh, go start from there. Absolutely. And I can leave a link as well for myself if you want to reach out to me or you can PM me as well. Um, I don't know if I said my name at the beginning. I'm Lexi Hanna. And <clears throat> I will leave Sippo's information in this go live in the comments and, and or above the on the top of the post in the topic area. So, you know, um, to leave your legacy, you must be able to pay yourself first. And this is what Sippo and I do all the time, every month we do this and you know we're building our legacies so that we can have the resources to help these people and live our dreams and goals and leave a legacy for the next generation and so on leave that rippling effect which i think is so impactful and so powerful so did you have any final words for us sippo um I've said most of the things, but the most important thing is just that um, this is the right time. There is no other time to say, I'm going to wait. I'm going to do it next month. This is the right time to start uh, planning for your legacy. Start right away and start investing in yourself. Start paying yourself. And sometimes you might say, I don't have the knowledge. I don't have the know-how. And that's, this is what we are spreading right now to let other people know so that they can also start. Just get in touch with us and we will help you so that you get started. Absolutely. And viewers, please do share this out. It's important that you do share it out because there is somebody sitting there waiting to hear this information and hear this message today so that they can leave their legacy too and know how to begin and know how to grow and how to do it. So Definitely share this out and reach out to us if you'd like to know how we are paying ourselves first and be we've begun and are growing our legacies. Thanks for watching. Have an awesome day and we will see you in tomorrow's video. Thanks for coming, Sipo. This has been great. I appreciate you. Thank you. You're welcome. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.